and tis the season to tip. Celestra has some tips. The do's and don'ts of holiday tipping can drive you crazy. Just as we're faced with tipping fatigue, the holiday season is upon us. And now we're forced to figure out how much to pay people who provide a regular service to us. And it can all be very confusing. Your hairstylist or barber is someone you definitely want to tip. The rule of thumb, the cost of one visit, says financial expert Tiffany Alicia. What about the doorman? If your doorman is excellent, and it's always super friendly, and maybe they bring the bags in for you and go, go above and beyond, yes. For multiple doormen, $20 each. For one doorman, around $100. Yes, to tipping the sanitation workers who pick up your trash. $20 for each person. But check to see if it's allowed where you live. A $20 store gift card is allowed for your mail carrier, but not cash or a money card. Crossing guard. That's nice, but I don't necessarily think you're obligated to. Your mechanic keeps you on the road, so a $20 tip is appropriate. Here are some other guidelines. Housekeeper, up to one week's pay. Handyman, $15 to $40, depending on how much you use them. Landscaper or gardener, $20 to $50. Babysitter, it's recommended giving cash or a gift equal to one or two nights pay. If the same guy delivers your packages, a $20 tip is considered appropriate. However, FedEx discourages giving tips. Experts say a dry cleaners is a team effort, so consider something like a basket of fruit or a box of donuts. Thank you. Thank you. One online poll found that about 15% of adult Americans do plan to increase how much they tip this holiday season compared to last year.